Welcome back to Metro Exodus. In the last episode, we went around and talked to everybody, attended a wedding, had a pretty good time, except for the whole Anna coughing up blood thing, that wasn't so good. And uh, made a plan for what we're going to do next, which is go to the valley where we're heading right now. But before the train gets there, we're going to send out a scouting party consisting of me, Artyom, and Alyosha. So that's the next thing to do. Uh, hmm. Actually, before I do that, I should probably go back and see if I need to change my equipment at all. Yeah, I actually could use some ammunition and some other things. Uh, doing, mm, I'm doing decent on cutting opponents. A lot of chemicals. Let's get full med kits. Um, I could use a bit more assault rifle ammo and a bit more shotgun. That's, um, let's make a hand grenade. Wait, can I not? Oh, wow. I just spent all my stuff really quickly, didn't I? I can't even make a hand grenade now. Well, I could make another Molotov. And we have something new here. What is this? Standard barrel and duckbill choke. Oh, that looks really, <laughs> looks really cool. Duckbill choke changes the weapon's spread pattern, diverting the pellets to the sides. Why would I want that? Diverting the pellets to the sides. Hmm. I guess I'll try it. How does it affect it? Less damage, less accuracy, more stability. Hmm. It doesn't sound very good, but I'm, I'm going to try it just out of curiosity. I think my equipment's all good to go. Let's go ahead and scout. Мне трудно назвать себя религиозным человеком, но сейчас я прошу всех богов, пожалуйста, храните Аню, и пусть долина излечит ее недуг. А пока мы с Алешей едем в разведку. Мало ли какие опасности таятся в этой долине. Хотя Алеша, по-моему, и правда считает, что там его ждут женщины. Если это действительно так, то лучшего компаньона для этой операции не придумаешь. By the way, before we enter the Taiga, I want to mention that I was wondering how big this game is, how long this game is, back when we were in the desert area. So, trying to avoid spoilers, I thought the best thing to do would be to look up how many large areas there are. And I'm not 100% sure of this, but I'm pretty sure there's three. So we started at Volga, the winter place, and then we went to the desert, uh, the Caspian Sea place, and then I think the Taiga is the third and final one. Which I guess means I'm about two thirds through the game. Да, долинка это очень и очень, я бы сказал. It's beautiful. Аж голова кружится. Никогда таких запахов не слышал. Таким недельку подышать не только они вылечатся. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think you want all the weight of the train going on this track. Well, that's great. Artyom! 
Oof. Looks like we lost our pack too. Does that mean all our equipment's gone? That's a corpse. That's somebody who looks like they've been drowned and have weights tied to them to keep them under the water, I think. It's not a good sign. Child of Forest. Ребята поймали твоего друга, но я-то вижу, что вы не бандиты. Так что выручу, если глупости не наделаешь. Мне пора. Старайся не высовываться. Увидимся. So it sounds like they're people. Uh, the Olga's people are generally hostile to us, but just Olga just wanted to help us out. Do I have my map? I do. This place is going to be so beautiful. How about my equipment? No, I have my medkits and my filters, but I have no weapons at all. Where's Alyosha? Oh, I'd heard there's some sort of a bow weapon. I guess this is the introduction. You have to use it because it's the only thing you have. Dirty as hell. We have... <laughs> We have one shot for it. Uh, can I craft ammo, actually? Oh, right, I can't take out my crafting pack because I don't have my pack. Right. One shot. Let's be careful with this thing. I do have my flashlight. What did that say? Siri the Instructor held the road against marauders for two hours. This place feels so much more lived in than the other places we visited. I mean, people lived in the other places, but... It feels like people have really made this whole place a home. Volga, the predominant color was white, and then the Caspian Sea, it was the sand. There's a bunch of logs. Just. Oh, I hear people. Bunch of logs damming up the water down here. I might be able to walk across that actually. It's so cool. These houses just 
sliding off into the water. So close to complete destruction, but not quite, just on the precipice. Children's Camp, Solnichi, one kilometer. That's Alyosha, isn't it? What the fuck is that? Uh, I think that... I don't think that's a normal wolf or dog or anything. That seems to be a... Monster of the Wastes. And it's feeding off a body, and it's right next to Alyosha. I think we better go there, now. I mean, I... I need to shoot it with my one arrow. Make that two arrows. Oh, is that Alyosha? Shit, it's not, is it? really pretty. Oh! Oh, that is so cool. I just realized what they made this out of. That circle. That circle is a repurposed CD. <laughs> That's so cool. Get your arrows back. Of course you can. Sign. Bad. So I guess if they find anybody they consider bad, like bandits, they tie them up to a tree and shoot them with an arrow, and or let the wolf, wolf things eat them. It sounds like they're kind of indiscriminately considering everybody bad, like any outsider bad, given the way Olga said that, you know, I can see that you're not a, a bandit. Stay out of sight. Where do I go? I want to go everywhere. I feel like plot-wise, I should be trying to look for Alyosha. But I just want to explore all these dilapidated houses. Ooh, that's a whole place. It's a whole place in there. I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Because there seems to be invisible walls. I wonder if this is going to be a return of the boat. So we're going to get to use a boat again. There is quite a lot of water here. Probably. Everybody's been killed by arrows. Seems to be their favorite weapon. That is the head of the thing that we just killed. Yeah, that looks like a mutated wolf. Scary teeth. What the hell? Is that from Olga? Bandit, this territory belongs to Brethren of the Coast. Get lost or pay with your life like others. Death to intruders. Yeah, so anybody, any outsiders considered bad indiscriminately. Okay. Who the hell shot that?
What did I just step on? Jesus. I get the message. Marauders, same will happen to all of you. Blech. I don't want flies on my face. I'm going to put my mask on. Whoa. Oh, Jesus. I mean, hit the body. Sign. Rapist. I mean, it seems like some, maybe a lot of the people they've killed deserved it, but not all. Oh, God. It's a knife. Ugh. Aww. Bunch of kittens. 1991. The year of the kitten. I've got 15 arrows. Just shoved in the fireplace. Oh, is that a picture of one of those? No, that's just a normal wolf. So pretty, that setting sun. Ah, webs. That's what's slowing me down. Ew. it say? I have no idea how to pronounce that. It's a radio? 144 FM? 12 AM? Definitely looks like 80s workout tapes or something. Oh, I must just step on one of those things. Sorry, buddies. I think those houses over there are off the map, sort of. Like, I really don't think I can get there. Let me save the game and try, though. Am I gonna just... Oh, oh, no. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I don't even have my night vision. Hadn't tried to use it before now, but I can't. Right, direction. Well, that's the main road, and that's my destination over there. I don't know what that is, where Alyosha is. It was that woman. I wish I knew her name so that I could talk, thank her properly for saving me. Courtesy's rather low on my list of priorities at the moment, though. I lost all my equipment in the river, and the radio's broken, so I don't even have any means of contacting the Aurora. Getting to the dam where Alyosha and I were supposed to go seems to be my best chance now. I should follow the old road. Hmm, yeah, maybe Alyosha made it and hasn't been captured and will meet me there. Makes sense. <laughs> it's creepy as hell. So all this stuff is side stuff. That's not the main road. Wow, they really put these all over the fucking place. They're doing a very good job of making themselves seem creepy and, uh, you know, saying get the hell out of here.
children's drawing. The sign back there did mention something about a camp for children one kilometer away. Look at this. This is like an old bus stop, maybe? Covering over the top, a couple benches. But it's just like barely here anymore. It's rusted and bent and you can't even sit on those benches anymore. Something, I don't know, there's something really interesting about that, how that looks. Oh, this must be the camp, right? flooded in there. I just told my gas mask on. Oh, it's a classroom. with a gas mask at every table. Oh my god, I don't know if you can hear her, but one of my cats, Transmian, is snoring super loud right now. I hope you can hear her, it's adorable. Unsent letter. Dear Santa, my name is Larissa. I am eight, and I was a good girl this year. I wasn't a coward. I killed and skinned two deer and wounded one bandit in the leg. And I'm not even lying. That's why I wanted to ask for a letter from my mom and dad this Christmas. If that isn't too much trouble for you. I miss them something awful, and I don't need any other presents. Huh. This is starting to sound like it might be some sort of a cult, maybe. I'm guessing that this is some sort of a camp for kids that people sent their kids to before the uh, apocalypse happened. And then after the apocalypse, it sounds like they've started to teach the children well to skin deer and kill bandits, which, I mean, isn't a bad thing, really. But 
It also sounds like they've maybe lied to them about their parents? I mean, at this point, they should have told the kids that their parents are dead. Almost certainly. I don't know. I could be wrong. Don't know enough right now, but that's kind of the feeling that I'm getting. They take being a pirate really seriously. <laughs> I don't remember what the other people that were calling out to Olga were, were called in the subtitles. I mean, technically we're probably not even supposed to know those people's names. It's just because the subtitles happen to say that because I enabled that. Well, they're warning me to fuck off, but I have to go there, and they also kind of just left. I know they're back there. I guess that's your warning that, hey, there's people. Might want to turn off your light. And we're pretty close to the dam. This place is big. Like, this map makes it not look that big. Assuming I can only really go on the places that are green, but... Uh, I think it's really zoomed out. Fireflies are beautiful. I like how it's all swaying gently back and forth. Seriously? The pirates are burying treasure? Oh my god, that's absurd. I mean, that's probably done by a kid, I suppose. But yeah, these pirates are ridiculous. And there's no way the children of the forest are in with the pirates, right? That must be a separate faction. Aww. What are those? They look kind of like pretzels, maybe? Or really shitty bagels? Oh, hey. It's pixel art. Looks like a library in there. Oh, that's like a whole pathway. Where does that go? Towards my destination. Hmm, I see a can hanging up there, so I should be on the lookout for traps. Hey, some little rat buddies. Yeah, clean your face. 
Nice. Yeah, clean it again. There you go. You missed a spot. Yeah, that pretty much aligns with what I was thinking. Although, I mean, there's nothing cultish about that yet. It might have turned into something cultish, but just being practical. Their parents are probably dead. They're in a bit of an oasis here. A wonderful place that's free of radiation. Teach them the skills they need to survive here. What a creepy basement. Oh, shit, I need my guest mask. Eating up my time? Yes, it is. So, shouldn't dally. The top of them is just gray. So gray. I feel like something surely is going to pop out on me down here. Protecting. Is that a new type of binocular? Or night vision? Okay. Once again, I'm not going to kill that thing. It's too cool to kill. This is going to hurt. Maybe. Actually, maybe I can get it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, fuck. Please pick it up faster. Please. Please. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Just night vision. I don't think it's special night vision. But still, that's super valuable. Wait, I can leave my night vision on and just turn the night vision part off, right? Yeah. Then it's instant. I don't have to, like, take the whole thing on and off. That's... 
Oh, it's not the same as the current one. It has a scope. Not a very good one, but it's something. It's like a one-time scope. Wait, a one-time scope would be no zoom at all. Uh, two times? Oh. I didn't even see that. Uh, hmm. Oh, it's a night vision scope, I just realized. I didn't realize it before, because I had my night vision already on. I don't know if I want to go down there. It seems it gets me awfully close to people. I want to approach quietly, slowly, cautiously. So that's this whole place. So there's a lot of ways I can go down here. There's like a pathway up there. I can go across the bridge, but that's where they all jumped out of a tree, so that's probably the main path where they are going to be watching. So I think my best bet is to go around here to the side. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we are... I didn't mean to take off my night fishing goggles. We are... Now I'm going to take off my night fishing goggles. <laughs> We're going to head over to the dam and see if we can find Alyosha.